2023. We will celebrate 100 years of BMW Motorrad. The very first motorcycle with the R32. A milestone in the history of BMW Motorrad. Many design elements of this bike can still be found in our R18 models today. The R32 was followed by the R37. It raced to a new speed record of nearly 217 km per hour. And many more records followed. Innovations are an important part of our DNA. But motorsport at BMW Motorrad is not just about action on the racetrack. We clearly do see a change in female involvement in motorsport. Also in our World Superbike teams we have females, we see females in the national series like Feho, like Maria Costello. I've been involved with BMW throughout my career. I've raced motorbikes for them, both modern and classic, and have been involved with the FIM Women's Commission. FHO is a British superbike team owned by Feho. 2021 is when I set up my own team. Having been asked by BMW to be the UK factory supported team for British Superbikes and the roads, it's a fantastic honour for myself and I just can't wait for the season to start really. FHO already have a long-standing relationship with BMW. We've got Kate Walker joining the girls team and she's going to be running in the new class which is the F900 BMW One Make series. So that's going to be really fantastic to have a girl in that championship. The engagement of Feho with her girl squad and with Maria Costello as her girl squad manager for me is a very inspiring example. So this engagement uh, should motivate many more women. She's got five girls racing for her and I'm going to be there managing them, supporting them, helping them and hopefully seeing them all succeed. I can see the difference in them. They're very determined and they want to get to the top. There's more females in their racing and it's more acceptable. Definitely more women should be involved in motorcycle racing. There hasn't been really a female team owner in BSB. So I make sure that I did a lot of homework. I learned everything about the bikes. The boys used to test me every time I go up to the office and ask me which part this is, I'll learn. I've been doing it a long time and I really thought that we'd see lots of women come into the sport back then, like 20 odd years ago, but we didn't. And so now it's great to see real credible opportunities like what Faye's doing by supporting these girls. It's an inspiring environment. We try to inspire the women to take part and to be active in the sport and we offer a good platform for that. BMW are just really proactive when it comes to getting women into motorcycle racing, supporting them, providing bikes for our training schools. They were very proactive with the FIM Women's Commission. The advice I would give to young female generations interested in motorsport is never give up and never stop challenging. You can beat the boys. If you found your passion and this is what you love and this is what you want to do, you've got to go all in. Work hard, be dedicated, look to your peers, go for it. Women are on the rise in motorsport. BMW Motorrad supports them in many different ways. We support them by camps in which they can obtain their license very quickly. There's easy courses that you can take in seven days. So if anybody wants to actually, you know, take up riding, I really recommend to look into it and see what BMW Motorrad has to offer. I'm so excited about this role that I've got with the team. It's taken a bit of time, but the changes are coming. The future of motorsport, in my opinion, is very bright. If I look at our brand BMW Motorrad, the motorsport has been in our DNA for the last 100 years and it will continue to be in our DNA and we will do everything to support it.